Tonight, Raleigh police continue to insist there is no evidence that shots were fired inside Crabtree Valley Mall last Saturday. The department says the FBI is now investigating the mystery sound that sent thousands of shoppers running away. Today, police also released 300 911 calls from the chaos. CBS North Carolina has listened to all of them. Our Michael Hyland is part of that team, and he joins us with new reaction from shoppers tonight. Michael? Some of those calls came from people as they were rushing out of the mall, others as they hid in stores, uncertain of what was happening, and also from people hurt in the chaos. It's the sound that caused panic in Crabtree Valley Mall Saturday. Oh, uh, we're running right now, trying to get out. Uh, we're not really sure what's going on. Let's go, 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 go. Some thought there was a shooter. You know, I heard the loud noise. Uh, Okay. Sounds like a gunshot. Others were doubtful. We heard an explosion. My first thought was not a gunshot. I know what a gunshot sounds like. I have multiple firearms. Sounded like an explosion. Um, almost like an M80 firecracker. We talked to some people who hid in stores waiting for police to come get them. We were terrified, of course, just because of the everything that is going on. You didn't know if it was play, if it was serious. The part that was scary was like when we were exiting, you could like smell the fear. These folks have come in because they heard shots in the mall and okay. it, it, the anxiety caused the women to go into labor. So we need an okay. Wake County EMS confirmed 12 people were taken to the hospital. Some were injured in the rush to get out. A spokesman says no one's injuries were life-threatening. Believing and seeing it was just kind of really terrifying. But days later, it's still a mystery what that sound was that created the chaos. Kind of just weird that nothing is going on. The FBI is analyzing that sound to see if they can figure out what it was. Today, Raleigh police saying there's still no evidence of gunshots having been fired here on Saturday. At this point, they have talked to the people who called 911 saying they thought they saw someone with a gun, but they have determined that is unrelated to the sound that was heard here on Saturday. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS North Carolina. Michael, thank you. And our coverage of the investigation continues right now on WNCN.com. There you'll find our past stories as well as a more in-depth analysis of the 911 calls as well as photos from the hectic scene. And